Hi everybody, my name is Darpro, I'm a Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Speedrunner. A lot of people have asked for some tutorials, so here's one on the short final final rush wall run. Um, this is at the beginning of the vertical section as you go up the tip of the arc. It's a very long section, uh, it's got some kind of difficult platforming, but most importantly is it's quite slow. And so we have a trick called wall run, it saves about 40 seconds. Uh, this is the first part of that. So basically uh, the full wall run is you do go up this wall, you actually run on it, go all the way up, turn three corners and get to the end. But that's a little bit difficult for people who are still just learning this trick. This is the short section. It will save 40 seconds and it really helps you get into how this trick works. It gets you practiced up for doing the full wall run which will save more on top of that. Basically what it takes is getting on this rail with a lot of speed, using it to change your gravity and flying at the wall with a lot of speed. And what it looks like is this. Oh, that is getting an extra life in a really awesome way. So as you can see I'm just running around in the wall. Um, that's how it's supposed to look when it's done correctly, but there's a lot of pieces that go into it. What it eventually turns out to do is you jump, bounce, Bounce and homing attack at this rail, jump off of the rail, bounce at the wall, wait for an instant and then homing attack at the wall. It's a lot of button mash in a very short amount of time. That felt good. Uh, the first part of it is to jump, bounce, and homing attack at this rail. So all I'm going to do is jump, bounce, and homing attack immediately afterwards. Like that. But I'm going to hit the rail, and it's going to give me a lot of speed. If I do it right. If I do it right. If I do it right. There. Just like that. You can see it gives you a ton of speed. And that's the first part of it. The most importantly is that you want to get as much speed as you can. Some people just bounce when they hit the rail. That's not enough speed. Or homing attack. Again, not enough speed to get this to work properly. Uh, so you want to bounce and homing attack it. And get a ton of speed off of there. So it's basically just a simultaneous button press, bounce coming an instant before the humming attack. You want to hit this orange part of the rail right here, so that you're on the rail for as long as possible. Now, the next important part is that you need to jump off the rail while you're not, while you're still on it. And it's very important that you do that so you get a good launch upwards and your, your gravity changes. And again, it takes a lot of button mash, so you're going to jump, bounce, homing attack, and jump off really quickly. And you can see I get a lot of height out of that. With a little bit of practice, you can get it. Uh, if you wait too long, it just happens just like you didn't bounce off at all. Or if you bounce off, if you jump off too early, which is possible, you won't get all the speed or height that you need and the angle may be strange. It is possible just by bounce homing attacking this and jumping off to get wall run to go off. That's quite difficult and happens only about 5 to 10% of the time. I don't recommend depending on it. So, once you get that jump off correct, what you're going to need to do is bounce. And because of the way you come off this rail, it turns out that your gravity is going straight towards the wall. The wall. So I'm going to do that now. So you saw how the gravity actually takes me towards the wall. Boom. So, there's obviously another piece to this. And that's it. When you bounce, you need to wait like a millisecond, the smallest amount of time you're capable of waiting. And then homing attack. And you should land on that wall. Now it's very important that when you do that, you're holding the control stick in a direction so Sonic runs. If you stop, if you let go, he'll fall off the wall. So you need to keep your speed up to stay on the wall. Once you get to where you can get on the wall, you're in good shape, and all you need to do is start spin dash chaining or just running in the direction you want to go. In general, that's up and a little bit to the right. You don't want to get too close to the corner if you're not used to crossing around. There's a special technique to go around the corners. So I'll have to show that again in a later video, but for now you can save a lot of time just by doing this one simple trick. All I'm going to do is get on the wall, spin dash three times straight up, and then spin dash towards the wall and it's going to take me around onto the platforms. 
good long way away. Spin dash. Spin dash. And now look where I am. I'm all the way up here at the checkpoint. Easy. And so from here, you can go on your merry way and do whatever you want. Use your favorite method to go up here. I personally like super bouncing here. Takes you right up to here, no problem. Spin dash jump. Come around these platforms. And boom, you're at the end of that section. That's a 40 second save compared to doing it the normal way where you just do all your platforming. So that's the basic wall run in a nutshell. Again, it's a lot of button press. Don't worry if it takes you a while to get the hang of it. If your button pr button mash is not super skilled, it'll take work, but I promise you can get it. Well, it's a very good trick, and it's hard to die while you're doing it. So it's a nice trick to learn, because you can take your time, learn it, and even if you screw up, you still don't lose that much time. You can just try it again, and you're good to go. But that's the wall run short method. Thanks for watching. I'm Dark Pro.